Next week, we'll all be sitting around the table with our families and telling the story of the Exodus from Egypt. Why do the Jewish people have such an obsession with the story of the Exodus from Egypt? And if you don't know what I'm speaking about, I will explain. We have a mitzvah every day to remember the coming out of Egypt. We say it every day when we recite this Shema, the third paragraph of Shema says that you should remember, I'm the Lord your God who took you out of the land of Egypt. In addition to that, we mention the coming out of Egypt every Shabbos and every holiday when we make Kiddush. We say this is a remembrance of the coming out of Egypt. When we say Birkat Hamazon, when we say the prayer after eating bread, we're not only thanking God for having food, but of course we stick that in there. We also thank you for taking us out of the land of Egypt. Uh, also in the morning prayers, remembering the coming out of Egypt, it's really all over the place. And also when men put on tefillin in the morning, after they put their tefillin on, they mention the coming out of Egypt. And of course, the story takes up the most of the second book of the five books of Moses, which is the book of the Exodus. Um, also, we have an entire holiday to remember this, eight days. It's one of our longest holidays. And one uh, and the central mitzvah of this holiday is to tell the story. In fact, it's the only story of the Jewish people that we have a mitzvah to tell our children to. Wow, and that's amazing because, let's face it, we have a lot of amazing stories to tell, right? What about the revelation at Mount Sinai? So, uh, yeah, we're really kind of obsessed with the coming out of Egypt. And why is that? So the story of the slavery, the plagues, the coming out of Egypt, and of course, why we came out of Egypt. God didn't take us out of Egypt just because the bad guy got us and oh my gosh, I gotta free my people and now you're free. He took us out of the land of Egypt in order to bring us three months later to Mount Sinai and to give us the Torah and to make a covenant with us. So the story of the coming out of Egypt really is all about the fundamentals of Jewish faith. What are the fundamentals of Jewish faith? First of all, knowing that there's a God. So when, when we do go to Mount Sinai and God, there's a big revelation and he makes uh, the big intro introduction, what does he say? He says, I am the Lord your God who took you out of the land of Egypt. Well, that's interesting. Maybe you would have thought that he would have said something more grandiose about himself. How about this? I'm the Lord your God who created this entire world and everything in it. Right? Why didn't he say that? The reason that he didn't say that is because we weren't at creation. We don't know that God. But we were in Egypt. We know that God. We know the God who made the plagues. We know the God who took us out of Egypt with an outstretched hand and who split the sea and who brought us across and drowned our enemies and brought us to Mount Sinai. And we know the God who appeared to us face to face at Mount Sinai. Furthermore, from this whole Exodus story, we not only know that there's a God, but we know that he is intimately involved in running the world. He didn't just create it and go take a nap. He is involved in the lives of, of the nations. He has complete control over nature. He can make water turn into blood. And we learn from this that God has a very special relationship with the Jewish people. He took us out brought us to Mount Sinai, and he made a covenant with us, and he said, because you chose me, I am choosing you to be my ambassadors in the world, to be a light into the nations. And this is why Passover and keeping this story alive and telling it to our children in every generation is so important, because this is the source of it all. This is how we know who we are, what our national mission is, what our personal mission is as Jewish people. So this Pesach, as you're telling the story to yourselves, to your children, remember that this is really what it's about. This is our opportunity to teach our children the most important fundamentals of Jewish faith. 
Wishing everybody a very happy and healthy Passover.